thoughts. Hopefully, hopefully you do good things. Everybody has a competition in their brain of good thoughts and bad thoughts. Hopefully they win. The good thoughts win. For me, I always have both. I have like the thing I believe, the good thing. That's the thing I believe. And then there's this thing. I don't understand black people. I mean, I've been on this planet for, uh, you know, quite some time. And um, I just, I don't, I don't get it. I mean, I am uh, a quarter black. I think it's quarter, right? Um, you know, I don't know where that falls on the, the scale of whether or not I have the right to uh, have any opinion on uh, on black people or, or the culture. I don't, I don't know. You know, I know back in, what, like the 1800s or maybe even early 1900s, they had that, what, like the one drop theory that if you had one drop of uh, black blood in your uh, in your genetic makeup that you were automatically considered black. I don't, you know, I don't know. And honestly, I don't give a shit. But <clears throat> um, I, I was on Twitter, surprise, surprise, and... Uh, Bruno Mars is, uh, what do they call it? Trending? Is that what the young people call it? Uh, Bruno Mars is trending because apparently, because he's not black, um, for some reason uh, there's a problem with him, uh, with the music that he produces or the fact that he's gotten popular uh, you know, based on the, the, the type of music that he has, uh, decided to share with the world, um, you know, cause I mean, currently he's sort of going through, uh, you know, let's bring back the fucking nineties sort of a sound. And, uh, you know, um, some black people, obviously not all black people. I mean, I think that most black people probably don't give two shits. Either they like his music or they don't like his fucking music. But, you know, there are some out there that are fucking upset. They're calling him a culture vulture because apparently, uh, if you're not black, and I always thought Bruno Mars was, but it turns out he's like Puerto Rican and, uh, Jewish and Filipino, um, I mean, I knew he had the Filipino side uh, mixed in, but I, you know, I, I always thought the other, you know, mixture of uh, whatever fucking DNA, uh, you know, I thought there was some black sprinkled in there, you know, but, um, <clears throat> you know, uh, now he's a fucking culture vulture because he has, I mean, he's really the only one, um, doing that sort of 90s sounding uh, style right now. And I don't know, like, black people, can you please uh, explain shit to me? Because this is what I, I, I've never really fucking understood, right? You know, and I don't know, maybe uh, maybe it's because I grew up, um, you know, primarily around my own family. So I hung out with, uh, you know, mostly Filipinos. So, you know, Maybe it's something I, I'm not quite picking up, all right? But it seems like when it comes to everything that isn't considered black culture, you want to be included in it, right? That there's this demand for equality and that, you know, somebody doesn't judge you based on the color of your skin and just by the character of your uh, of your person, um, you don't want to be de denied, uh, you know, employment opportunities or, um, promotional, uh, opportunities in the workplace. You don't want to be denied anything based on who, or based on the color of your skin, which is a fair fucking, uh, uh, demand, right? Cause you know, we're all fucking equal here. We're all human beings. So, you know, we should all be treated the fucking same. But why is it that when somebody that's not black um, comes out with something that, that everybody fucking likes, right? That everybody sort of appreciates. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of Bruno Mars, but, you know, he has, uh, he's written a few fucking songs that I'm like, yeah, okay, that's a good fucking song. You know, smoother than a fucking fresh jar of Skippy, you know, it's, it's a fucking great line. 
Um, but why is it that the minute somebody from, you know, somebody that's not black does something that you consider yours, all of a sudden they're a culture vulture that they're, you know, that their main reason, uh, for, you know, doing the things that they want to do, whether it's uh, sing R and B music or rap or, um, uh, I don't know wear their hair up a particular way. It's never that they just like that shit. It's always they're trying to fucking leech off the culture and it should be hands off. You're not a part of this. You shouldn't be um, profiting off of this. I I don't understand that shit. It's like either you want to be considered, uh, you know, equal to everybody else or you really don't because I don't fucking get it. And, you know, and, and I apologize if this sounds like, uh, I don't know, some, you know, ignorant racist, uh, ranting, although there's nothing racist about it. I, I don't think, right. I mean, it just, you don't really see, you don't really see this sort of like backlash, um, from any of the other eth- ethnic groups. Right. I mean, if, uh, you know, if, if a Mexican dude, you know, serves fucking uh, ravioli in his restaurant, you don't see the fucking, you know, you don't see the Italian, you know, uh, people getting upset, like, how fucking dare you, you know, uh, sell fucking uh, ravioli? You know, it's just, I don't, I don't understand this shit. You know, do you want to be considered, uh, you know, just, I mean, do you want to be just, uh, you know, uh, considered on, uh, on the basis of your fucking character or do you want to be, uh, you know, sort of separate based on the color of your skin? Because I honestly, I don't think you can have it both ways, right? If somebody likes R and B music and they can sing and they can sing the R and B music, um, you know, well, are they supposed to not sing it because they're not black? Are they supposed to, you know, if they make any sort of fucking profit, are they supposed to, to, uh, you know, give all the money back to the black community because a long time ago, black people created R and B. I mean, do you sound, do you know how fucking ridiculous that shit is? I mean, like, could, would you ever, I mean, let's take uh, some of the worst fucking music that's ever been fucking created. Country music. And I'm sorry if I'm listening to, or if, if anybody that's listening to me is a country music fan. I just, I don't get it. You know, I, I just, I don't get it. With the exception of um, William Walker Wheeler or Will, Wheeler Walker Jr. or some shit. I mentioned this on the uh, podcast, on I don't know, a podcast a couple of weeks ago or a month ago. I don't remember. I like Wheeler Walker Jr., but it's only because uh, he has a song called Fuck You, Bitch. You know, but I I, I just, I don't see, I, like, I don't think I'd see the sort of, like, if, if there was, like, a black dude or... You know, or like just a fucking Asian dude it doesn't even have to be be black. Just just somebody Asian, you know, decides that uh, hey, I really like country music. I can sing it really well, so I'm going to put out an album. And you know, I I don't really see, I don't really see like white people. I mean, maybe there's going to be some, all right, you know, there's always going to be a, a fucking a few that are just going to be like, hey, this is our fucking music and, you know, go back to fucking China or whatever the fuck it is that, you know, that they say, but you can't really, you can't really listen to those people, which I guess in this case with Bruno Mars, I guess I really shouldn't be listening to, uh, to, to this group that's like, oh, he's a fucking culture vulture. Um... But, you know, like, I don't think you'd see the same backlash. Like, either either the Asian guy or girl singing the country music is, you know, sings it well and, and comes out with, with music that everybody likes, or they fucking don't. I don't think you're going to see a bunch of white people like, this is our music. How dare you do it? You know, it's just, I don't know, like... <sighs> You know, and you see this with a, with a lot of things, right? Like there's the the whole uh, cultural appropriation thing with, uh, you know, uh, 
different nationalities wearing like fucking dreadlocks or uh or cornrows even though if you look into the history of it you know like the fucking vikings and shit had had uh fucking dreadlocks and stuff or or cornrows i can't remember which but you know it's not like just because black people made it fucking popular or you know or or, or what it just it's fucking silly that you're getting upset about hairstyles and whether or not somebody is black that sings music well it's fucking i mean i don't know you know obviously you know i'm only a quarter black so maybe i just don't get it because i'm not fully black i mean lord knows uh, i had you know when i was back in fucking uh boston um why do i say it like that boston um uh, you know, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking, what am I, what do they call it? Culturally ambiguous. You can't really tell, uh, what nationality I am. Um, you know, I, I don't look Filipino. I don't look black. You know, I don't look Portuguese. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. You know, I'm a fucking chameleon. I can, uh, I can blend in with anybody. But I, you know, I do recall, uh, you know, getting uh, a lot of shit from, you know, really from all sides. It wasn't just black people, but, you know, I'd get a lot of shit if if I, you know, uh, dressed a certain way or spoke a certain way or fucking, you know, whatever. I mean, I got it from all sides, so I'm not going to lay the I'm not going to lay that all on on black people there. But, you know, it just it doesn't make any fucking sense. Who gives a shit if somebody wants to cornrow their hair? Who gives a shit? Why does that affect you in any fucking way? And why is it that that, that any time, you know, when somebody that's not black does something that that, you you know, is, I don't know, ordinarily considered a black thing. Um, why, why do you always have to look at it in a negative, uh, in a negative fucking perspective? Like, oh, you know, how fucking dare it? Oh, they're just trying to be like us. I mean, why can't it just be like, you know, I mean, isn't the, the phrase, uh, what is it? Mimicry is, or, and it's not mimicry. What the fuck is it? Like, uh, like copying is the, the fucking, uh, the, the best fucking compliment or some shit. I don't know how that phrase goes. Right emulation i don't know i don't know what the fucking phrase is i'm pretty sure you know at this point what i'm talking about like why can't you just look at it like you know what we came up with something really fucking cool and it turns out that more than just us fucking appreciates it or likes it or fucking thinks it's cool or whatever i just what the fuck like either you want to be uh you know like just considered, uh, you know, or just judged on who you are as a person, or you want to be fucking separate because of the color of your skin. You can't have it both fucking ways. You know, yes, it's, there's some fucking horrific shit that, that happens to people because of the color of their skin. I mean, it's happened to me, you know, I'm not fucking, you know, I, I have a, a, a tinge to my skin And being that nobody ever seems to understand or know what uh, nationality is, I think I just get fucked with, uh, you know, just on general principle. You know, it's it's sort of like, well, you know, maybe so let's just fuck with him anyway. You know, that that sort of thing. Um, You know, uh, speaking of which, like uh, there was some officer, I I forget what what uh, state, but, you know was just, uh, there was like a, an arrest warrant out for him for, I guess they caught him on camera, um, like choking the shit out of some black dude and beating on him and, uh, you know, all because he, uh, jaywalked through a parking lot during, uh, like off hours or whatever. First of all, how do you jaywalk through a fucking parking lot? I mean, it's a fucking park. It's not the street. You're not fucking going, you know, you're not crossing traffic. It was after hours. So how the fuck is that jaywalking? Or is it, or is that just, uh, you know, are they just making shit up so they can fuck with black people? And I, you know, I understand that a lot of the times that is exactly what's happening. And I think it's fucking horrific. You know, I understand why why uh why african american people 
are constantly on guard and and always you know sort of in this um uh this hyper vigilant fucking uh stage i get it if if you were constantly fucked with and people you know just made fucking uh assumptions right off the back not even knowing who you are what kind of person you are you know yeah i fucking 100 percent understand that shit but what i don't get is when there's this fucking hoopla that you know the 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 that you're not included in things or that somebody has uh um, you know, judged you based on the color of your skin and then, you know, but to turn around and then fucking do the exact same shit to, to somebody else to be like, nah, you can't fucking do that. No, you can't be a part of this because you don't, you know, carry uh, a certain amount of fucking, uh, melanin or melatonin. No, I think it's melanin. You know, it just, I don't know. It doesn't make any fucking sense to me. You know, I, it really fucking doesn't, you know, who gives a shit that he fucking wants to sing, you know, R and B music. There are lots of fucking people singing R and B music. You know, I'm sure that there's probably uh, somebody black or, or of a different ethnicity singing fucking country music. You know, the only times that you really rarely see somebody, of a different, uh, ethnicity, uh, you know, singing something that it's like, okay, what are you doing singing that shit? It's like when they're singing in somebody else's language, but even then, I don't think anybody's upset about it. I think most people, when they see somebody, um, that's not like, okay, I'll use my family for example. Right. Um, you know, cause we're mostly Filipino. So, when, uh, you know, occasionally somebody will fucking bring, uh, you know, their, uh, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend or whatever around that's of a different ethnicity and they can, you know, say a couple of words in Tagalog or whatever, you know, we don't look at it like, what the fuck? Why are you, you know, why are you appropriating our language? It's, it's more like, oh, that's fucking cool. You can actually fucking, you know, you can kind of understand the shit. You know, it's just, I don't understand black people when it comes to this. I, I really, I really don't. And I mean, I would love for somebody to explain it to me, preferably not all angry and fucking um, uh, rude about it. But you got to explain to me why it is that you want to be considered um, or not really considered. But, you know, like you, you don't want anybody to judge you based on the color of your skin when it comes to things that you want to do. Right. But then when somebody of a different uh, ethnicity wants to do something that you do, it's a fucking problem. You know, I don't know. It is what it is. I don't know why I'm so fucking angry. Um, you know, of course I get it, you know, um, you know, this, I, I mean, there are fucking, uh, things that obviously black people, um, you know, could be upset about right? Especially back in the fucking early 1900s or whatever, where you had fucking, uh, you know, white people putting on fucking black face. But the thing is, is like that, that isn't happening anymore. You know, they're not up there. You know, Bruno Mars wasn't like, you know what? I'm going to go and fucking dance around like a clown and make fucking black people look silly. He, that's not what he was fucking doing. It's not the fucking same. And I mean, I get why, uh, why black people get like very protective of, of, uh, you know, things that are considered, uh, African American culture. But unless somebody is mocking culture, then there's nothing negative there. And the thing is, is, I mean, I don't know, up until today, I, I didn't realize that people or some people had a problem with Bruno Mars. I just thought, you know, either you like his music or you fucking don't like, you know, like some people like Taylor Swift's music and some people don't. I'm one of the people that don't, but it isn't because, oh, she's white. You know, it's just because I, I don't fucking like her music. You know, it just it isn't music that fucking moves me. You know, but I don't know. You know, I've sat here and talked about this shit for about 20 fucking minutes. I think it's time to to get off of it. Um, It is uh, Friday. March 9th, um, I am coming to you live, although it's not live because you'll, uh, be 
you know, you'll be listening to the recording, but you know, of course I'm live as I'm talking because I am breathing. Um, you know, I'm, I'm coming to you live from, uh, my dining room table because we here at the, uh, the effing podcast, um, we like to, uh, give you that sort of original, no, uh, no bullshit, uh, you know, no Vaseline sort of fucking sound. I don't, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, but anyway, I do, uh, I do a couple of these podcasts for those of you that are new to it. Um, I do, I do a couple of these podcasts a week, um, usually Tuesdays and Thursdays, but you know, every now and then I switch it up. It just really depends on my schedule. Um, but yeah, so if you're, if you're new, um, welcome, you know, let me just, if I've pissed anybody off, just listen to yesterday, or not yesterday's, the day before yesterday, I don't know, you know, listen to that podcast, you'll realize that uh, I just, I just fucking say shit, you know, yeah, it's not always fucking appropriate, and you know, sometimes it, it's as ignorant as it can fucking, uh, as it can possibly be, but there is no ill will uh, in what I say, I'm, you know, do you like how I'm trying to fucking uh, backpedal and and make it seem like I'm uh, you know harmless and uh, I don't know am I appropriating shit here what am I doing um I don't know but yeah if you're new fucking welcome uh you know I don't usually well, I don't want to say I don't usually okay I say a lot of shit Sometimes I talk about politics. Sometimes, sometimes I talk about pop culture. Sometimes I just, uh, I don't know, I sit here and run my fucking mouth and do my little dance. And you never know what's going to come out. So, you know, don't, if you're going to, like, judge uh, whether or not you should uh, continue to listen or listen to previous episodes based on this, uh, this episode. Is that what it is? Is this an episode? I don't know. What am I, the, what is this fucking, uh, soap opera over here? Um, you know, don't judge it by, based on this, cause, uh, you know, it just, I, I say whatever fucking comes to mind, or if I, you know, if I happen to read something or see something, you know, and I come on the podcast, it'll be fresh in my mind, so of course I want to fucking talk about it, and I saw this thing with Bruno Mars, and it was just like, what the fuck, you know? I don't know, but anyway, fucking, if you're new, uh, welcome, if you've been a, you know, listener, then, uh, you know, thanks for, uh, supporting me, um, I don't know, what do you guys want to fucking talk about, oh, shit, oh, fucking Yelp, oh, God. you know what, like, I think in my entire, uh, Yelp eligibility, uh, uh, years, I think I've only given one Yelp review, and I realized almost as soon as I fucking did it that, uh, you know, like, what the fuck am I doing, you know, you know what Yelp is, I don't, because, th- uh, okay, like, you know, I know what Yelp is supposed to be, right, it's supposed to be like, uh, you know, like, uh, um, a source of information about particular businesses and, you know, you sort of judge whether or not you should, uh, um, you know, I don't know, shop or buy or, or eat at or whatever it is that the fucking word I'm searching for is, uh, you know, you're supposed to base that on, on its reviews. And if there's like, you know, mostly negative, then you, you kind of get a sense like, ah, yeah, maybe we shouldn't fucking go there. Um, but here's the thing. Has anybody legitimately, you know, like before they've gone to someplace, have they looked at Yelp and been, and that's how they made their decision? Like, okay, you know, there's like, uh, uh, 70%, you know, four to five star rating. This must be a good place to go. Let's fucking go there. Has anybody really used Yelp for what it was intended? Or is it more like what I think it is? It's just, uh, it's like the adult version of a fucking pacifier for fussy fucking cunts. Right? Because, you know, you never, I mean, well, obviously you can't review a spot before you've actually fucking been there or done business with it. But, you know, like most people, they go to the fucking restaurant, 
they, you know, they fucking eat the food and, you know, experience the fucking atmosphere and all that fucking shit. And, um, you know, and then later, you know, if, if, the, if something wasn't to their liking, they decide to write a fucking angry, um, Yelp review. And really all it is, is just, I, I'm fucking upset <clears throat> about my experience and I, you know, we live in a, in a society where we don't just fucking angrily uh, start yelling at people. At least most people, you know, it, it's it's a social norm. Obviously, there are people that just don't follow social norms that will, you know, in the restaurant yell loudly and demand that, uh, you know, I don't know, the fucking red carpet be rolled out for them or whatever. You know, I understand that those people exist, but most people you know, they have a shitty meal or a shitty time at a restaurant and the waitress or waiter or wait person, uh, you know, comes by and is like, oh, how is it? Most people, even though they, they might have hated it, the, the entire fucking experience, they'd be like, oh, you know, it's good, whatever, you know, because that's just how, you know, we've been fucking, uh, socialized, right? You, you don't just fucking start insulting people. Um, and you know, you don't just start fucking griping and, and pissing and moaning in public, especially if you're an adult, you don't do it. Right. So what happens? You don't have anywhere to release that fucking frustration and anger. So you have Yelp and that gives you the ability to say all the things you wish you fucking would have said, but you were too fucking cowardly to say it, you know? I don't know, because, I mean, I I read, like, I have Yelp on my phone, but it's it's purely for uh, for comedy, right? Because I love, I love fucking reading the, uh, the, the negative reviews, because you can, you can tell usually that the person is, is just one of those fucking cunts that, you know, that if they don't get things exactly the way that they fucking want them or immediately after they fucking ask for them or whatever, you know, like you can tell that most of what they're upset about is, is, that's just part of their fucking personality. They're the type of people that you really probably wouldn't even want to fucking hang out with, you know? Um, so I have it on my phone, but you know, it's just like, okay, I'm feeling like shit. Let me just laugh at, uh, at angry people that are upset about fucking bullshit, you know, I don't, you know, I, I mean, the reason why I call Yelp the pacifier is because I don't believe that the, you know, like the glowing fucking reviews that she's like, oh, this place is fucking awesome. Like, I, I don't trust those. I always assume that if people are given five stars and they're like, oh, this is this was the best fucking experience and they did this and that and whatever, I assume those are fucking employees. That's what I assume. I assume that they are employees that were told, go on there and, you know, it's sort of the, um, what do they call it? It's it's a psychological thing. Um, the, the foot in the door technique where you just, it's kind of like, um, I know it's a good example like somebody that that like is playing the guitar on the street for money right sometimes they will uh they'll seed their own tip their their little tip fucking jar right they'll put some of their own money in there and make it seem like you know somebody else paid to listen to this so the people that that stop and listen sort of feel obligated to uh to to give some money because it's like oh well somebody else did and I don't want to be a fucking mooch you know, I am getting uh, the opportunity to listen to music for free. So, you know, here, right? That's kind of, that's sort of the same thing that's going on with these positive fucking Yelp reviews or on Amazon or whatever, right? They have people that actually work at the company. It might even just be the owner or the manager or whatever. They'll write, you know, they'll create fucking accounts and they'll write, you know, these glowing fucking reviews. And then when people go to, you know go to Yelp to write their own review, they see that, ah, oh, most people fucking, you know, they, they really liked it. So it's like, well, you know, wasn't my experience that bad? Like, you know, maybe I'm just being a fucking asshole, you know? So I don't, I don't trust the fucking glowing reviews. I don't even read them because I know uh, that, you know, yeah, I'm sure there are some people that, that fucking, uh, actually waste the time, uh, you know, talking about how fucking awesome experience they had it, uh, I don't know, fucking Payless shoe source or whatever, but, 
I assume that most people are just angry fucking cunts, and the only reviews you can really trust are the are the negative ones. Now, whether or not you choose to base your decision off of whether or not you fucking uh, you know frequent 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 um, you know the establishment, I you know that's up to you. You know, I look at uh, at negative reviews of restaurants and stores and shit the same way I look at um, you know movie fucking critics, right? You know, you can see some people they just they like to fucking listen to themselves talk. And you can, you know, you can see it, especially in the movie reviews. Like, you know, like one of my favorites is like whenever, um, I don't know, a Fast and the Furious movie um, gets released, right? And you'll have these critics that are like, oh, I can't believe they fucking tried to jump the car from building to building. That's so unrealistic. And, uh, you know, there was just so many fucking explosions and it just, you know, like the acting was horrible. And it's like, you do realize that it's fast and the fucking furious. It's not Shakespeare. You know, it's supposed to be ridiculous. That's kind of the thing with these fucking movies. They're supposed to be ridiculous, right? So if you're if you're going into the movie uh, expecting that you're gonna get fucking uh, you know some sort of like uh, Shakespearean fucking acting and 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 uh, set design and all of that shit, well then you you are just a fucking cunt or you're fucking stupid. You don't go into an action movie expecting it to be like this compelling fucking story. No, you go into an action movie because you expect to see action. You expect to see shit that you wouldn't ordinarily see, like a car jumping from building to building, or numerous fucking explosions, or half-naked hot chicks, or whatever. You know? It's just part of what the movie's supposed to be. So when I read reviews where somebody is like like upset about something that's just like how could you how how could you have gone into the movie expecting to see you know x y and z even though you knew that you were going to see fucking fast you know it's just it's just it's fucking stupid so i don't really take into account what movie critics have to say about shit and i know that my last like two podcasts i for some reason have turned into fucking siskel and ebert and here i am again talking about movie reviews except i'm not going to review any fucking movies for you but i don't really like i don't base my fucking opinion on what some fucking douche had to say about the movie now i will i am guilty of of uh paying attention to to like if everybody loves the fucking movie I'm going to assume that's a good movie. But if it's like a mixed bag where it's like, you know, some people fucking loved it and some people are like, this is fucking stupid or whatever. It's just like, you know, I'm going to make my own fucking decision. Or even if people are saying it's fucking horrific. I think, uh, what, what, what movie fucking was it? It was like, um, ah, crap. I think it was, uh, um, fucking dynamite. What the fuck? Napoleon dynamite, right? Um, I read the reviews before going to see that and everybody was like, oh, this is fucking stupid. Like, I can't even believe, you know, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, I mean, but there were some people that were like, you know, this shit was fucking hilarious. You know, so I'm like, well, you know what? A lot of people didn't like it, but I still want to see it because it looks fucking funny. And I went and saw it and I fucking laughed my fucking ass off the entire time. So obviously those people that were bitching about the movie were fucking wrong, right? What the hell am I talking about? Um, I don't know. Yelp, it's just, it's a fucking pacifier for adults that, you know, just didn't have the courage to, uh, to say, hey, you know what? My, my meal, it, it fucking sucked. You know, you, you, you fucking burnt the, the, the steak. It was fucking, you know, chewy as fuck. The, uh. You know, the the salad tasted like, uh, you know, like, I don't know, like you fucking picked it like last week. You know, the the drinks were fucking watered down. Um, you took too long to fucking, uh, you know, give me some fucking bread or whatever the fuck it is, right? It's just, you know, like you, it's just people that don't have the courage to open their fucking mouth 
and 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 voice their fucking frustrations. And I'm not saying that if you are one of these people, I'm not saying do that because end of the fucking day, you know, the wait the the wait staff, you know, they deal with a bunch of assholes all day long. So if you get shitty fucking service, um, you know, you got to kind of like that's how I look at it, right? Like I can get the shittiest fucking service ever and I'll still over tip because I look at it from like, well, you know what? How would I feel if I spent like eight hours on my fucking feet and 90% of the people that I fucking deal with are just fucking cunts just with their stupid requests and their complaints and, you know, and their fucking, you know, not tipping me well or not tipping me at all or, or fucking writing stupid shit on receipts. You see that all the time on like Twitter, right? <clears throat> You know, it's just, uh, you know, I, I don't know. I have empathy for uh, for people that do those fucking jobs, right? You know, or that work in a service industry. It doesn't have to necessarily be just restaurants. It could be, you know, the, the fucking workers at a hotel or whatever. You know, it's just like, I know that, 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 you know, like that's not what you were aiming for in life. You weren't like, you know what, you know, my uh, my friends, they all want to be fucking doctors and lawyers. I, I want to fucking be a waitress or a waiter at fucking Denny's. You know, it's just like nobody, nobody wants to do that fucking job, you know, but you do it because you got fucking bills to pay or you want to make some extra fucking money or whatever. You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna shit on you for being human, right? If you're having a shitty fucking day, you know, if you're expected to just always be this fucking glowing, happy fucking person, you know, it just, it's too much to fucking expect. So if you are one of these people that's just like, oh, how fucking dare she or he, you know, not fucking uh, roll the red carpet out for me or, oh, I didn't, you know, they didn't fucking get to me, uh, you know, quick enough. I mean, there's been times where, you know, I've gone into a restaurant and it's super fucking busy or maybe sometimes it's not that busy and, you know, and, and we've sat there for, you know, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes and, and nobody's fucking really acknowledged us in those situations. I'm just like, you know, let's just get the fuck out of here. You know, I'm not going to wait till she comes and be like, Oh, you know, you had me waiting for 20 minutes. You know, where, what the fuck am I not the king of the world? How dare you not treat me that, you know, that way. I just, it's just, you know, if something's fucking bugging me, especially if I'm not getting uh, waited on quick enough, I just fucking leave and I don't come back. You know, anyway, um, I think I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. I, I think I've lectured you, uh, I've lectured you people, uh, long enough. Um, you know, my apologies if I, if I, you know, upset, uh, you know, black people with, uh, with what I was talking about in the beginning. It's just, you know, I don't know. I don't fucking get it. You know, either you want to be included or you want to be fucking, uh, exclusive, you know, and if you want to be exclusive, then you can't bitch when you're not included in to certain things. Or if you want to be included, you can't fucking, uh, you know, you can't be exclusive. I don't know. You can do whatever the fuck you want is basically what, uh, what I'm going to say to try and get out of not sounding like an ignorant fucking cunt. So, um, yeah, anyway, I'm going to get the fuck out of here. I hope you guys had a good week. It's Friday. So, uh, you know, the weekend's coming, um, you know, and I hope you have a good weekend. Uh, mine's gonna be fucking busy. My son, um, well, opening day for uh, for baseball or for little league is uh, is tomorrow, Saturday. Um, and apparently we gotta be at the fucking field and shit at like nine o'clock in the morning because there's supposed to be this you know big fucking hoopla and he's gotta take pictures and then he's got a he's got a game um, later on that day and then he's got another fucking game on Sunday. So you know it's gonna be a busy fucking uh, weekend for me. But anyway. Um, you know, I hope you have a good one and I'll talk to you guys again next week. All right. Uh, just like always, don't take any shit and go fuck yourself. Peace.